know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Listen to me. Listen to me. You gotta move this box, okay? When I do that, I ain't trying to pull your legs free, okay? Okay. Listen to me. I gotta get you out of here. Go. Go. Hey, it's okay. Where is he? It's okay. We'll, he? we'll find him. No, he was right here. He was right here beside me. Go. He's not here. All right. He must have been thrown, thrown from the van. All right. Ryerson's not here either. He's with Simon. He, he can't be with Simon. You have to find him. Please. Please, you have to find him. Stop staring, it's rude. You're a rude baby. You definitely got some top manny in you, that's for sure. I know what you're doing. You're trying to make me feel guilty. Well, you know what? You can't. Todd's your real dad. I'm doing the right thing here. Star and Jack, they dig the guy. You'll grow accustomed to him. Forget all about the McBains, anyway. How old are you? Four or five? You don't have that much to remember, anyway. Plus, think of it this way. You're going to get out of this flea bag motel, move into a penthouse suite. Mm -mm. Think of the amenities. <clears throat> I bet that's your mommy with my money. That was fast. Did you forget your... Key? David? What are you doing here? That guy out there looks like he really shook you up. Who was he? Oh, yeah, just some guy I used to know. From where? You really want to focus on this after what you just told me? What we found out we'll keep. Uh, you just sent a gentleman packing who clearly went to a lot of trouble to track you down. Then you walk in here as if something bad has happened. Who is this guy? I told you. A guy I used to know a long time ago. What did he want? What most people want from your past. Money. Why? Does he have something on you? So what can I get you? What did you say? You're sitting here with no drink. Make an educated guess. Vodka. Rocks. Oh my God! Is that really you? Yeah, yeah, Michael, it's me. Are you okay? Is yeah. Johnny... Look, we're we're fine, Mike. Okay, we're fine. But I need your help. Tell me where you are, and I'll. No, no I'll come and get no, you. No, I said no. Marcy, please. I need your help. I need you to get me a million dollars. Does he have something on me? Like what? The fact that Asa Buchanan claims me as his bastard son? Okay, even I didn't know that until you guys told me what was in that letter that he left Nigel. And, and, and great, great timing, by the way. Thanks, Nigel, dropping that piece of news. Right when Natalie and I started. Yeah, brilliant. Bravo. Do you think this is funny? I think this is a riot. But you still haven't answered my question. 
What does that guy know about you? He knows I did time in prison, okay? And why? Because he was there. But unlike me, I seriously doubt that guy's innocent. All right, then how did he find you? I, I don't know what the white pages, the internet, I'm not exactly in hiding. Why would he think you'd give him money? Look, a lot of ex-cons have a chip on their shoulder. They, 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 they think the world owes them something. Sounds like you're singing your own tune now. <laughs> yes, fair enough. That used to be me. Something change? Yeah. My ego finally kicked in. And what is that supposed to mean? That means I met a girl and she set me up because it was fun. And before that, I was making it on my own. No, 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 silver spoons, no handouts. Me, putting myself through business school. I was four days, four days from the Series 7. And then, bam, two years of my life, gone, prison. Yeah, that's a hell of a detour. And that detour led you directly to our doorstep. No, no, that's okay, let them talk. You lied about your prison record. So Natalie would hire you at BE, and then you sweet-talked your way into this house. And before you started up with Natalie, you had a little fling with Sarah. Now, that could lead a person to believe that you got out of prison and targeted my family for some reason. Yeah, I lost track of who I was in prison, okay? And it was a long way down. So, yeah, I made some mistakes when I got out. But they're behind me. I know who I am. Who? A Buchanan? No, Jared Banks. The kid that made it on his own steam. And that guy? What about him? Does he know about the letter that says your pa's son? Did you know about him? I didn't know anything. And that guy, he's gone. He's not coming back. All right, well, that leaves you and me, my brother, and daughter, and our family's good name. No one is more shocked about whatever it is that's going on here than me. Okay, this is totally, completely... It's nuts. It's nuts. And, and why now? Okay, you, you had the entire time in Texas, Nigel, to tell us what was in the letter. Why now? Yeah, Nigel, I'm curious about that myself. You said you needed the time to be right to share Paul's letter with us. What made you decide that the right time is today? But you're sober now, you're trying to turn your life around. Obviously, you love your son, you're trying to make things right with him. I, th I think he probably is going to need some time to learn to trust you again. But, I mean, the fact that you're so determined to find him is, is, is going to mean a lot to him, you know? It, it's such a start. By showing up here, you, you're going to screw it up like you've screwed everything else up in my life. There you go. Rock the rocks. Well, somebody recognized me, Michael, and they're threatening to turn me in. And they want a million dollars to keep quiet? Look, it's a reward that Todd is offering. And if I don't give them a million dollars, then they're going to go straight to the cops, Michael. Who the hell is this person? How do, they, how do they know about you and Tommy? I thought you were at work. I was. I came back to check on you. Really? Yeah. Well, you weren't in the room, so I thought I'd... Ask, you know, Gigi's friend if she knew where you were. Have you ever met Gigi's friend? No. Oh, well, she's not here, so you can't now. <laughs> Obviously, but you're here. David, why are you here? Or are you going to continue to try to duck the question? I'm going to continue to try to duck the question. Not an option. Come on, Vicky, don't make me say it. Say what? It's one of those what happens in Paris, Texas stays in Paris, Texas things, okay? You're... Yeah. With 
Jesus uh, friend? Uh, what, so soon? Vicky! David! It's a rebound thing, okay? We're two consenting adults. We're just using each other for... Thank you. You don't need to finish that. We don't even know each other's names. I... Uh, and yet you are here alone with this woman's baby. Get you out of here, then I'm going to look for call. No, you don't understand. I cannot get out of here. I'm not Please. leaving you here. Please, you have to find me. Sula, let's try this again, okay? No, no, you don't understand what if, what if Simon has him. Please. Buddy, listen to me. One smart three no. agent, this whole van could go no, on. I don't understand. He is everything to me. He is my life. He is everything I think. <laughs> Please go find Sir, the burden of carrying that letter around unopened was simply too great. I had no idea who the letter would name or how that revelation would affect this family. But I thought it best to have whatever it was out in the open for all of you to deal with. You had no idea that Jared would be named in that letter? All I knew was that it purported to reveal the name of Mr. Buchanan's son. Beyond that, I had no more idea of its contents than any of you. You seem nervous, Nigel. Nervous, sir? Unsettled. This is quite an unexpected turn of events. No kidding. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected when I came to town. Yeah, but what a coincidence. You get invited down uh, to the family ranch with the family to hear Pa's will being read. And then voila, you're in it. You know, you go from being a total stranger to my kid brother in one quick letter. What can I say? My karma's always been a bitch. Yeah. Well, I don't know much about karma. See, I'm a cop, and I'm skeptical of coincidences. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm flat out saying it. I think that you knew exactly what was in that letter. Someone wants me to pay them a million dollars. One million dollars by tonight. Oh, but you're not supposed to pay a million dollars. And even if I did hit it, you can't send money without leaving the trail. What about Roxy? She loves him, Michael, and she knows people. Every possible ally you might have had is being watched. Your dad, brothers, Rex, me. Especially me. The cops are watching every move that I make. Not to mention Manning. Has Todd been causing trouble for you? If you call threatening to kill me, cause trouble. Are you serious? He came to our house this morning and he held a knife to my heart. Oh my God, Michael. Michael, are you okay, honey? I told him to go at it. No! No, you, you cannot say things like that to Todd, Michael. He's losing it, Marcy, and I get it. I get it. I'm going out of my skull here. Let me bring you and Tommy home. We have to get that money. We have to get it, and we have to get it now. Okay, David, this makes no... Vicky, keep your voice down. There is a baby sleeping. Now, you are here because... I'm babysitting. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. The mother of the child went to your room looking for you because he was asleep and she needed to go to the airport. Or the store. I think she needed to go to the store. And you weren't there, but I was, so she said, Will you please watch my baby? So, what was all that nonsense about rebounding and using each other for sex? Okay, that part I made up. But only because I didn't want you to think I'd grown soft in my old age. I know you prefer me rakish, immoral. I'm being played here, David. Vicky, I'm hurt. You know, I, I've never seen Gigi's friend. I've never met Gigi's friend. Do you know why? Because Gigi's friend never leaves this room. Now, all of a sudden, she's entrusting her child? 
to a perfect stranger? Yes. Uh -oh. She's friends with Gigi. Gigi's friends with you. I'm friends with you. You know what they say. The friend of my friend is probably my friend, too. Very generous of you to volunteer to watch a baby. No, no. I'm not volunteering. I'm being paid very handsomely for my services. I'm going to go out there and take a look around, all right? You drive a hard bargain. You're going to find him. I'm going to look around, then I'm coming back for you. Not without my son. Don't come back without my son. I don't like this. Thank you. You've been good luck for the two of us since we met you. And when I first met you, I said, well, you know, there's a man that I can trust. So I need you to go out there and find my kid. Can you do that for me? You know, David, I, I don't really see how you're going to make ends meet on your income as a babysitter. Why don't you let me convince Mo to hire you as a busboy, huh? Thanks, but no thanks. I've seen the apron they wear. It's not cut right. You're making a mistake, you know. Working at that cafe has been an unbelievably rewarding and uplifting experience. Well, it's funny you mention that. It's exactly the same way I feel about watching this baby. Oh, for heaven's sakes, will you be serious? Oh, wait, who says I'm joking? <laughs> what a little angel. He's a baby. What choice does he have? So peaceful when they're asleep, you know. He looks very healthy. His mother obviously takes very good care of him. And she probably thinks he's worth his weight in gold. God, what a... <sighs> What's wrong? I just keep thinking about poor Todd. I mean, his son must be about the same age as this child. How did you expect me to come up with a million dollars? There are, uh, you know, a, a lot of rich people in Landview, right? And this case is all over the news. Maybe, maybe one of them is on my side, Mike, right? <laughs> Look, you have to get me this money, okay? Well, I'm gonna don't have a million dollars. Then, 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 then just borrow it, Michael. Just borrow it. I've been suspended from the hospital, Marcy. My credit rating isn't really good right now. What about Antonio? He owns a bar. Or Antonio is a had. cop. And Vicky Davidson is Todd's sister. I mean, Dude, why don't I just go straight to Manning? It's you feel lend it to me. There has to be somebody, okay? If you ever loved me... If you ever loved our son, Don't if you Don't you dare. Do you hear me? You know how I felt, how I still feel. But I can't help you. Can't or won't. <laughs> I don't eat. I don't sleep. I jump out of my skin every time the phone rings now. You want to know why? It's because I know. I just know it's going to be that call. It's going to be someone telling me that you've been caught or hurt or worse. <laughs> so no. I can't help you. I won't help you. What you're doing to Tommy is worse than giving him the towel. Don't you say that. Don't you, you dare say that to me. He is my son. No, he's not, Marcy. Not anymore. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. I just can't give him money. Please deposit $2 for the next three minutes. <laughs> give, me, give me your number and I'll call you back. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I 
something wrong? Oh, no. No, I just, um... My friend got a phone call, so I'm just going to wait for him to get back. You know what they say, never drink alone. Hmm? Yeah. You're right. You got me. <laughs> I knew exactly what was in that letter. Yeah. I got out of prison a couple months ago. I waltzed right into Ace's office. I said, hey, put me in your will. He said, he said, sure. You know, it was a piece of cake, really. I mean, you, you, you guys know exactly what the old man was like, right? What comes to mind? Um, weak-willed, uh, you know, a sucker for the oldest con in the book. You know, it really wasn't that hard. Jared, shut up. What? Quit. I'm confessing. What else you got in your bag of tricks? Okay, you know, I can't win here. This is... I didn't realize this was a competition. I tell you I'm shocked, and you say you're skeptical. I tell you... I don't want any part of being a Buchanan. And you tell me I'm in cahoots with some ex-con. I give you my confession and... See, but what we asked for was the truth. Look, no one even knew that letter existed until Ace's will was read, right? And, and since then, it's been in Nigel's possession. And he hasn't shown it to anyone, right, Nigel? Oh, uh, now, wait a minute. Nigel's loyalty is not in question here. Okay. I don't want this to be true any more than any of you do. But rather than stand here and point fingers, why don't we just do a DNA test like Uncle Bo said? That works for me. Open your eyes, buddy. That's good. That's Where am I? They went over the cliff. You got thrown out. Long. Your mom's pinned in the van. I gotta go back for her. Wait, you hold that over that cut? Let me see. Does she can't get out of it? I'm gonna get her, all right? Yeah. Get around. Listen to me. You need to stop this bleeding. You gotta hold this over this cut. You got it? Yeah. We gotta help her. We gotta get her. I will. You heard anywhere else? That's just most of my head. Okay. Yeah. Listen to me. You stay put. I'll be right back for you, okay? No, no! Hey! Listen to me. Last thing your mom said to me was her life wasn't worth anything without you, so you stay put and don't do anything stupid. You got it? Okay. Okay? Get it set up for your DNA test. Well, why wait? You're a cop, right? Why don't you take a sample, take it down to the station, have a lab run it? Because I don't use uh, department resources for personal business. But if Jared is not Paul's son, we're talking fraud here. I mean, well, what's possible? And that is definitely police business. You still want LPD to get involved? Look, I don't give a damn who runs the test. I just want to know the truth so we can move on with our lives. Great, then I'll take a sample. Ow, son of a... Yeah, Will hair work? Sure. As long as we get a follicle. This whole situation with Todd's child is just such a mess. I mean, it's awful. It's got to be killing him. Now the situation with this child has been grim from the start. You know, I remember when Todd came to me. And he told me he thought the baby was dead. He was destroyed. And now he knows the baby's alive and he doesn't know where he is. You know, I mean, there's got to be pure agony for him, right? Yeah. No one should have to go through that. No. I had no idea that Marcy had adopted Todd's baby. That poor girl must be so desperate and so terrified. I mean, she's bound to be caught, right? Which means that this child that she has been taking care of for, well, since he was a baby, he's going to be taken away from her, which is just awful. Well, yeah, but that's Todd's son. The, the baby belongs with his natural parent, right? Well, yeah, but Marcy has loved that baby. Loved him for over a year. I can certainly understand why she ran away. But Todd's your brother. Yeah, yeah. And that little boy is my nephew. But I just feel so badly for Marcy. I wish there were a way to resolve this without Marcy being hurt. I don't want Marcy hurt. Shouldn't it all be about the kid? What's best for him? 
Yes, of course. That's what makes this whole situation so awful. I mean, Todd's the father, but Todd has done some awful things in his life. I'm quite convinced Marcy believes she's doing the right thing. That child belongs with her. I want to know what you think. Well, it doesn't matter what I think. Why would you care, David? There's no love lost between you and Todd. That's for sure. But if I have to hear about Todd in order to enjoy the pleasure of your company... Come on. Oh, my break's almost over. I've got to get back. Um, you sure you won't let me talk to Mo about the job? You know, somehow I don't think busing tables is my calling. All right, but don't stop looking for what your calling is, okay? You know, I'm firmly convinced that you are capable of doing very great things. And I know one day you're going to make me so proud. nothing you could do about it. Imagine how that would feel. Cheers. I'd pace myself if I were you. Yeah, well, you're not me, so shut up. Hey, pal. That's, uh, that's not gonna solve anything. Yeah, well, maybe it'll help me forget. Even if it's just for tonight. He's fine. Slept like a baby. Look, David, um... I don't have the money. And I really don't have any way of getting it. So, um... Yeah, look, I... I, I want you to... I want you to take this, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's not a million dollars or anything, but it's a start. Please. So. Put it in the envelope. Thank you. I'd like to speak to my uh, brother alone, please. Of course. Can uh, can we talk? I don't think that there's please. anyone. Considering that I may have been making out with my uncle for the past week? Yeah. You have to believe me, I had no idea about this. I believe you. You, um... You didn't tell my dad that Tess was the one who set you up and sent you to prison. Yeah, what good would that have done? Thank you. Really. Sure. You know, there's a big part of me that uh, hopes this DNA test comes back. Jared, stop. I'm already skewed out enough. I cannot that. believe this is happening. Now, Leah. What? 
I'm sorry. Everything good in my life has turned to crap. And you know what? It's my own fault. So don't tell me that everything's going to be all right. Because it won't. It can't. Nothing will ever be all right again. I know you think I'm feeling sorry for myself, but you know what? I don't care. Look, I know what you're going through. Oh, really? You know what this feels like? Yeah, I do. Well, then you deserve that drink as much as I do. Take it. They're real, David. They're real diamonds, okay? It's worth a lot of money. You can have it appraised. It's genuine. Marcy. No, look, I know. I know. It's not a million dollars right now from Todd Manning, but I promised you that I will find a way to get the rest of that money for you, okay? No matter what it takes. This... No. It... No, David. Okay. David, just don't do this, okay? Look, we can, we can both get what we want out of this. All I need is a little bit of time, and I need you to trust me, because I swear to you it. that I... Stop it. Stop it. You can take your jewelry back. I don't want it. I'm not going to turn you in. I'm going to take this sample to the lab myself. Jared is Pa's son. I can't believe we're taking this seriously. Well, Pa got around a lot. You know, anything's possible. Bo, how many more times are we going to have to go down this road? I don't know. I didn't want to think about it. It just makes me mad again. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, we'll know the story soon enough. But we still won't know what uh, Banks is really after. Did you plan this? No, no. You heard me in there. Then you have nothing to apologize for. I... That you are going through this? Yeah, me too. You have no idea how much. Natalie? Bye, Uncle Bo. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I just. I can't be around right now. And then you're going to go get Todd and tell him where to find me, right? Man, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that an hour ago? Now everything's changed. I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. Oh, okay, here. <laughs> Can you tell me why you changed your mind? I don't know. I keep turning out to be a finer person than I thought I was. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I... I really don't know how to thank you right now because I want to. Easy. You don't have to. If, if you're going to stick around here, Marcy, you got to be careful. Just take care of the kid, okay? You know, I'm really glad that I don't have to run away with Tommy again, you know, because I'm starting to like this place. I know, but I'm serious when I say you, you got to be careful. Trust no one, not even your neighbors. You never know who's passing through town looking for love in all the wrong places. Okay. But for now, your secret's safe with me. Scout's honor. I was never a Boy Scout. I don't know why I did that. Thank you.
appears to fathers and sons.